to go. Okay. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Now, yesterday I went on a little buying spree. We got a couple of mowers, a couple of weed eaters, and a whole bunch of mini bikes. So we've got all sorts of fun stuff to play with for the next couple of months. So today we're going to work on a Toro 22 recycler that I picked up. Now it looks like a good looking little mower. And my favorite part is it's red. Red mowers are just easier to sell. They just are. They take good pictures. Now this one won't take very good pictures now because she's a mess, but I'm sure we can clean her up and let's see what we've got. And for you new people out there, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and we appreciate it. So let's get started. First thing I noticed about this mower when I got it was no matter where you put it, it seems to mark its spot. With all the dirt underneath it. So let's have a look underneath. Yep, she's just covered with dirt. That's a lot of dead stuff underneath this mower. But she's going to need a bath anyway, so I'll get the pressure cleaner out. And I'll hose her down real quick and clean the bottom really well. So let's scoot her outside and see if she'll start. Okay, where were we? I had to stop and take a look at a weed eater. The gentleman brought over, and unfortunately it was all burned up. So we're gonna, let's check the oil on this bad boy. The oil level looks really high and really dark. Nope, it's not too high, but it's dead black. So we're going to go ahead and do an oil change on it real quick, and then we'll get to the next step. And I'm pretty sure we're going to save this one. Okay, change the oil. The first thing we're going to do is get the old oil out of the way. That's pretty easy peasy on one of these. Now, whenever you're flipping one of these over, you always want to go towards the uh, oil side anyway. In this case, we're going to go way towards the oil side. There you go. And the old oil looks pretty dark. Looks like it's been in there a little while. Let's get the dipstick off the ground. Wipe it off, make sure we don't put any dirt in the engine. And these only take about a quart of oil. Or I'm sorry, they only take about half a quart of oil. Now she's still draining. We'll let her sit here for a minute. We'll slosh it a little bit over the top to make sure we get everything. And the dipstick's at the very bottom of the engine when it sits like this, so that makes it really easy. And that's it for that. And now let's put the new oil in, in our little pre-measured container. It's going to take 16 ounces or about 500 milliliters, depending on who you ask and where you ask it. And that should do it. She's all full of Quaker State Synthetic. Clean the stick again. Put that in. Now the next thing we're going to do is replace the fuel. So I'm going to dump the fuel off. I'm going to go ahead and siphon it off into a uh, bucket and we'll put new gas in it. So I'll be back in a second. I'll go ahead and get that done. Okay, let's put some gas in it and see what we've got. This gas doesn't look too terribly bad, but it does have a yellow tint to it. It doesn't have that blue you come to expect. As you can see, I found a couple little floaters in there, but they may have already been in the bucket, so I'm not worried about that. Now we're letting the gas settle in and fill up the bowl. And 
And now we find out if it's time to clean her up or it's time to open her up. Now for my favorite part, making her clean. So let's crank up the good old Insta-Clean. You know, full choke, gas is on. As you can see I tested it out before I started. See, I tested her out before I started by cutting the yard up front. Well, that went pretty well. It's not very often I get one where I don't need to rebuild the carburetor, but this one didn't need a carb rebuild. The gas was so old, it didn't really want to run. It tried to run, but it really didn't want to run. And new gas and new oil took care of it all pretty well. No knocks in the motor, no issues at all with it. The, the drive system feels really good. I adjusted the drive system just a touch, but as you know, that's just turning a screw. Well, for all you people who haven't done it yet, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. And we'll see you next time.